So we're going to tie ropes and knots. We're going to start off by selecting the appropriate knot for the tool or equipment that we are going to hoist. And we're also going to use a safety knot on every knot we tie. To do it. This okay. is going to be a figure eight on a bite. After you tie your knots, you want to make sure that they are dressed appropriately. There you go. This is the bull one. Made my bite, take my working end, run it through my bite, fold it back on itself, grabbing the running end, pulling it snug, dressing my knot, and then follow that up with a overhand safety to secure the knot and there is a bullet. This is a clove hitch. What you're going to do is you're going to take your rope and do two opposing half hitches and then bring them together sliding that over whatever object you want to secure it to. That is a clove hitch. Okay, I'm going to tie a bucket or sheet bend. With that knot, using two separate ropes, I have a bite in one rope, and using the other one, I'm going to come up through that bite, over, around and under, and then you will continue through and under that rope, and then I will follow up with two overhand safeties, one on each end, to secure the knot. And that is your Beckett or sheet bend. Okay, we're gonna tie knots on a uncharged line to hoist. You're gonna fold your nozzle back onto the hose three to five feet. You're gonna start with a half hitch, I mean a clove hitch, securing the nozzle to the hose. So my clove hitch, Continue around, secure the knot by tying a overhand. Securing the knot. Then I will continue up the hose to the fold and tie a half hitch. And I'm ready to hoist and the rest of the running end of the hose becomes a tag line. So for a charged hose line, you're gonna start back approximately 12 inches from your coupling and you're gonna tie a clove hitch. Tightening down my clove hitch, following it around, securing it with an overhand safety knot. Then I'm going to take the, the rest of my rope, come through my bale, do a half hitch, take up that slack. That half hitch is securing my bale closed. That way it cannot open when you hoist it. Okay, we're going to tie a knot to hoist a ladder. I'm going to choose an appropriate knot. Today we're going to use a figure eight on a bite. To do that, we're going to make our bite much larger. Made my figure eight on a bike. On a ladder, we're going to go down from the tip a third of the way. We're going to run our bike through over both beams, and we've secured it for horse hoisting. When hoisting a ladder, you may need to tie a rope for a tag line. To do that, you'll go to the bottom with a separate rope and tie a clove hitch. Once a 
tagline is secured, you're ready to hoist. So there are two ways to hoist an axe. We're going to start off by doing a figure eight on a bite. We will drop that over our handle, come up underneath the tool, and then once at the top of our tool, we will do one half hitch to secure the handle of the tool and you are ready to hoist. The other way to hoist the tool is to do a clove hitch with another half hitch on the handle. So you will start by doing a clove hitch at the base of your tool, securing with an overhand knot. Again, bring the rope underneath the tool, and once at the top of the handle, do another half hitch, pulling it tight, and you are ready to hoist. You're going to start off by coming up approximately 12 inches from the base of your handle, tying a clove hitch. Securing your clove hitch with an overhand knot. Bring your rope up and you will do a half hitch approximately halfway up the handle. Doing another half hitch right at the top, secured on the pike and your pike pole's ready to hoist.